It is one of the biggest challenges facing cities across Asia and the Pacific region. Now, there are more than two billion people living in cities in Asia and the Pacific. And the fact is, is that cities are the drivers of economic growth across the region. Um, in many countries, upwards of 70 to 80 percent of total GDP is generated in cities. But cities really need water in order to survive and thrive and to sustain you know, their populations, but also to sustain and attract new business growth and opportunities. Um, from a strategic perspective, you know, managing water security is essential. Now, there are different ways to do this, um, managing uh, challenges on the supply side, on the demand side, but I think that the new challenge that, that has emerged is resilience. And again, by resilience, I mean basically ensuring that water supply systems are resilient to the impacts of climate change. For example, in Fiji, the capital city Suva is investing in a new water supply system to basically supply a very, very quickly growing population. But the current intake site is subjected to sailing intrusion, but also low water levels. So essentially they selected a new intake site upriver, which again, cost a lot of money to put it more upriver, but this climate change adaptation measure um, was seen by the Green Climate Fund as a worthwhile investment. So again, to make a long story short, we secured $31 million in the Green Climate Fund to basically support this in grant financing. Addressing and managing water security in cities requires a very integrated approach, and um, it is one of the biggest challenges facing Asia and the Pacific region. Water professionals need to share their knowledge about water supply issues, water demand issues, and solutions. I think that um, clearly new technologies are one part of the solution, but again, let's not forget about involving local communities, increasing their awareness and understanding as to the value of water, um, but also to promote greater conservation and, and more rational use of, of water at the household level, but also across businesses.